Well, well, this is perhaps the most uh, significant Supreme Court case uh, that we've never heard of. In fact, for uh, a legal uh, presiding, uh, a case that has been decided inside United States borders, this particular legal case will have one of the biggest and far-reaching impacts on extreme poverty around the world in our lifetimes. Uh, in terms of the significance, you know, certainly the situation dates back to Argentina's default in 2001. And as you noted, the majority of folks who had debt, of companies, of firms, investors, restructured. But there was a small group of funds, popularly known as vulture funds, who swooped in, never invested in Argentina, but bought some of the debt for pennies on the dollar. Because the debt is contracted under New York state law, uh, the vulture funds, uh, for the last decade, have continued to litigate Argentina for payment in full, even when most, uh, most creditors have restructured. The significance of this case is so important that there is a rare global consensus where the United States government, the United Nations, the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and religious anti-poverty groups like us at Jubilee USA are all on the same side of the table, saying that this behavior is so extreme it sets a precedent that essentially will be able to impact the poorest countries in the world, can keep them trapped in poverty. Uh, it's a bad judgment um, for the broader investment community, for big businesses. It's a bad judgment for debt restructuring around the world. And it even hurts us as U.S. taxpayers, because the very money that these vulture funds are collecting around the world from poor countries through litigation are, are monies that are funded from debt relief efforts from our own tax dollars.